Welcome to our business meeting. Today we have something really exciting to show you for Motion VFX called M Business, and it's gonna make our financial discussions a lot more visually appealing. So let's get the show on the road. Bobby, how are profit margins looking this quarter? George, our profit margins are like a supermodel on a catwalk. Long, lean, and absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bobby, you are a supermodel. That's great to hear. All right, what about our losses? Are they under control, Katie? Oh, our losses are like an aspiring magician's assistant. They disappear right before your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie. Oh, that's good stuff. I love your creativity. All right, and finally, let's discuss our financial projections. Bob, are we on track? George, our projections are like a GPS system. Accurate, reliable, and occasionally telling us to make a U-turn when things go awry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, you're funnier than Bobby. <laughs> Thank you everyone for your witty responses. Now let's experience the magic of Motion VFX's brand new plugin and business. On to the tutorial. Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we are looking over M Business. Once you've installed M Business via M Installer, it can be located in your titles. M Business comes with a variety of different elements such as charts, some miscellaneous tools, placeholders, and typography. If you'd like to get a real-time preview of how these look, simply skim over with your cursor and you will see what some of these elements do. To apply, simply click and drag onto your timeline above whichever clip you are wanting to use. You can take the handles and trim as needed. And then as you can see, as we push forward, you can see that beautiful animation in, and then there's some animation out. With my title selected, we can see we have on-screen controls here for position, scale and rotation. I'd like to go ahead and set my title up here to make it appear as though it's on the screen. So I'm going to use my on-screen controls and very quickly and very easily adjust this. And now it looks like it's on the screen behind me. You can see a variety of other on-screen controls to make it really simple for filling your chart. That is going to adjust the spread of your different segments. There we go, that looks really good. Over in our inspector, we have animations in and out, as well as position, scale, rotation, opacity, and blending. You can select how many segments you would like. We have from one all the way up to 15. I think eight looks really good, so we are going to keep that. And then we have our segments width, length, and spread. We also have the gradient here, so we can make changes to our color if you need to be on brand, as well as all of the other gradient parameters. And then we have all of our different titles. So you can see our primary title, crucial values, subtitle, business influencing factors, and then text one through 15. All right, so let's see how that looks. Awesome. If we look down into our next section here, we have miscellaneous. So we have a background, we have a call out, this really great individual country chart that I'd like to show in a second, along with a world map. We have all kinds of goodies in our miscellaneous. So why don't we click and drag and apply our individual country chart in. We can push forward and again, you can see we have on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and position my content right here. Then we have some additional on-screen controls. So we have this on-screen control if you want to select or highlight a certain point. And then we have this on-screen control that is going to fill the bar or fill the country that you have selected. Over in our inspector, we have all of the goodies, content, position, scale, rotation, opacity, animations in and out. 
And then we have this amazing drop down section labeled countries that has so many countries from around the world. So each one of those are gonna correspond to your map over there in the left side of the canvas. And they're all in alphabetical order, so really simple to use. Down below we have our land color and then our selection colors. So you can see that our land color is getting a bit lost in the background here. So we're just going to change our land color to white and now it is really visible. You'll also notice that our text is kind of getting lost as well. So we're going to come down past all of these other additional parameters that you have. If you want to add lines for your bar chart or anything like that, we have you covered. But let's continue down and you can see here that we have our value offset. So that's going to be that first bit. So we're going to click Y and just drag that down. And I also want you to notice something with our on-screen control, the value is automatically adjusted. So that is really neat and it saves you a lot of time there in your percentages. All right, let's go back over to our inspector in text to offset. We're just gonna click Y and bring that down to match. Great. And if we wanted a different color of any of these, let's say that white is still just not doing it for you, you can use your eyedropper tool or however you want to make color changes. And we can very quickly change the color of those text and values. And then if you scroll down a bit more, we have glow and we have a drop shadow if you would like to add a little bit more separation. All right, let's continue down to our next clip. So here we have placeholders. So again, if you skim over, you can see how those look, which is really, really nice. You have a lot of different options to cover your business video needs, along with a partner section that I could see being very useful. Here, let's just use the logo title. So we will click and drag this into our timeline. And as we push forward, you can just see very clean, very simple, your logo and business solutions. We have the on-screen controls as we always expect with these titles for Motion VFX. So why don't we just add a logo now? So I'm just going to open up and let's go over to our logo source drop zone. We will click that and then click on our logo and hit apply clip. Now Motion VFX's logo is a circle and you can see that we have a square here. So there's a couple things you can do if you're using a logo such as this that may not fit properly. Under your logo parameters, we have logo scale. So we can just very quickly scale that down and it matches inside of our rectangle there. And then we also have logo inner scale. So then if we wanted to fill that and make it look like a big M inside of the box, we can do so here. But of course, Motion VFX is a circle. So as we scroll down past our title and all of those parameters, we have the rectangle and we can simply turn that off or we can change the size of the rectangle or even the roundness of the rectangle. But again, we'll just turn that off. Now we have our Motion VFX circle and we can just scale it up until it looks about right. All right, let's check that out. All right, and on our last clip, let's open our titles back up in M Business. I wanted to show you all the typography. Now, a lot of this typography is really, really good and it's going to work really, really well, but we do have kind of a complex scene here. We've got a lot going on and there's not really a lot of space for text, but let's say that you wanted this to be where you want your typography to happen. No problem. In our miscellaneous, we have a background. So we're just going to click our background in and bring it in over top. And then we can also use our typography here. Why don't we use the listed plan? So let's just click our listed plan here, bring that in on top of our background. And then you can see that they animate in beautifully together. 
and there you have it. Now, in my background, we have some on-screen controls here. And again, a master for position, scale, and rotation. You can change the different colors and such if you would like. I really think this color works, but I'm just gonna scroll all the way down and I can see background opacity and I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and boom, now we can see through, but it's not really bothering us with all of that text on the screen because it's very obvious that we have that background there for a reason. All right, let's open our listed plan and you can see that we have all of these great on-screen controls here that move independently and of course our global will move them all together really really cool so if you wanted to just kind of have these all over the place you know maybe you have a certain style in mind you can just very simply very quickly move them anywhere you want and they are just going to all animate in together so like i said you can you can make it really quick and get your composition exactly how you want it so just as an example boom and they all animate in beautifully together Command Z to undo all of those. All right, and of course, over in our inspector, we have animations in and out and all of the position, scale, rotation, options and parameters. Then we have our segments, so we can do up to 15 if you would like. And it's nice how they just automatically space out for you. We have our segment icon roundness and the icon size along with our icon colors. And the cool thing is, is you can change individual icons to individual colors. So let's say we wanted that first one to be white. Maybe we want this one to be green for whatever reason. We can scroll down and maybe we want this one to be red. So really cool that you can adjust those individually and independently as well. And then there's going to be the corresponding text within any of these. So you can see business plan along with our white color there for our segment. And that goes all the way down in our inspector. Each one is going to have all of their adjustable parameters. So you can really, really customize this how you see fit. All right, and that's about it from me. Thank you so much for checking out M Business, now available on MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.